Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Renee and I am the owner of Home the Brand. I sell budgeting items to help you save money as well as handcrafted items such as rhinestone or blank pens and now tumblers and glass cans. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and sublimated my first glass cans today and they came out really great. Like I tried two different um, settings and I'll sh just show you guys so the first one that i tried was the christmas ghosties so cute um i tried the settings that the supplier of these cans or glasses uh recommended which was 300 degrees in my convection oven in my convection oven for 10 minutes and it came out nice except for there's a little bit of ghosting where the sleeve is and i think that's my fault because i need to make these wraps just a little bit more smaller um and then seal it properly like with the tape but came out cute nonetheless i am going to be designing the lids for these um even though this these came with colored lids they don't match the design so i'll be designing the bamboo lids so i'm hoping to do that today i did order some sticker paper that's coming so i'm just waiting for that and i'll show you guys what i plan to do for the lids for that the second one that i did is the grinchy and bougie Perfect. This came out perfect. I tried 375 degrees for seven minutes, flipping halfway, and it came out perfect. It is so vibrant. Let me show you guys with paper inside so it's a little bit easier to see. But as you guys can see, it came out a lot more vibrant. There's no ghosting. Everything was just perfect. So I think I'm going to go with that setting moving forward. I'm having the time of my life making these tumblers, you guys. I find this so therapeutic and it does help me relieve stress. So be on the lookout for new designs. Actually, as we speak right now, I've already uploaded these to the site and there is, I don't remember how many, there's over 10 different designs that you can get. All the Christmas designs are up and available. So go ahead, check that out. The link to my website is always in the description box. Have a look. Grab a can, glass, or two, or a tumbler. Did I say did this this morning? I did those yesterday. And I was working, you guys seen I was working on some budgeting orders that had to go out. You guys, I was so tired that I kept making mistakes with like cutting out the envelopes. So I stopped filming, it drove me insane. I got them done and I dropped them off at the post office after my workout today. Um, so those are on the way to those customers. I did get another order today that i will probably start tomorrow because i need i don't want to say a rest day because i still have to do design the lids and i'm actually going to be starting something new you guys know i do the rhinestone pens i want to do like the vinyl wrapped uv resin pens um so i'm gonna do that i'm, I'm probably gonna do one today or two i don't know yet we'll see how much i can get done um so I'm very excited for that. Also, I'm going to do a tumbler. I'm actually going to do a tumbler right now. I'll show you guys one of the new Christmas designs. It's personally my favorite. So instead of babbling, let's get some work done so that I can actually relax this evening because I still need to do my nails. I took off my cross-ons and they are just horrible. So I'm just going to clean them up, cut them down, paint them builder drill and all to strengthen them and all of that so yeah let me stop rambling let's get into everything that i need to do today
All right, y'all. You guys can see I did the tumbler and I am devastated because it burned on the normal settings that I usually use. So I think I'm going to have to tweak the settings for the 3D inflated designs, which I should have tested before, but that's fine because we're doing it now. Um, I'm going to try that later because I need to order tumblers. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do the lid mock-ups for the frosted glass cans because I still need to add those to the uh, website, the images. And I need to take pictures. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> and I need to take pictures of the um colored lids the different colored lids so i can put those on the website too and upload everything to etsy as well and then i think i'm gonna take a break do my nails and then i hopefully amazon's here by then so i can start doing the lids and i could do the pens i don't know if i'm gonna get everything done right now because it's after five and i'm ready to like just relax so I'm going to get as much done as I can today. And if I don't get it done today, then you guys will see everything else in another video. So let's get started on the lids. Why do I talk so much with them? Okay, you guys, I got this like bamboo lid template on Etsy. Oh my gosh, you guys work smarter, not harder. A lot of these. And if you don't want to make a lot of products beforehand, because if you're not sure if it will sell, get you some mock-ups because that'll save you a lot of time. You will be able to do have your product pictures without actually having to take product pictures so this is the bamboo can glass lid template that i got and my lids don't have the hole in the middle so i'm just going to get rid of that and just only use the ones that are on the side um and then these are what they look like so i went ahead and put in the images and these are the options that you can get for the bamboo glass cans why aren't you scrolling come on up and that is so cute so i'm gonna make each actually their own image so i can add it to each listing um on my etsy and my shopify and then i will i'm still waiting for amazon to come so once they come i'll print them all out on sticker paper um and then get them cut out so that i can apply them to the two lids that i need to do for today i'm sorry if you can hear my mom in the background but for the lids that i need to do today and then hopefully hopefully it's six o'clock now honestly i feel like they're gonna come really late today so i don't even know if i'll be able to get them done today um what i will probably do is start the new video tomorrow while well, my nephew's coming so either tomorrow sunday or monday i'll have to do the lids i'm not quite sure as well as the pen wraps i'm gonna show you guys the pen wraps though that i'm gonna do and then yeah I'm going to eat and then I'm going to go ahead and do my nails because I can't stand looking at them any longer. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. So yeah, guys, if you guys are looking for like the lids, templates, mock-ups, whatever, check out Etsy. Etsy has a lot of stuff and I love supporting other small businesses. So go ahead and check them out. Also, I figured out the dimensions for the pen wraps that I'm going to be doing. I do use Inkjoy gel pens. And lately, I have an obsession with cherries. You guys know that from previous videos. So the first design that I did is going to be the cherries. The dimensions that I went with are 1.5 inches times, I believe, 4.75 inches. So I'm going to do a few designs here. And then as well, when I get my sticker paper, I'll be able to print those out too. I'm pretty sure this isn't this isn't gonna mean today's video i i'm actually very tired and would like to relax at six so i'm just gonna do a few of the designs and then call it a night and then we'll pick back up another time but yeah very excited that i'm getting these done you guys i was able to knock off a few things off of my to-do list one thing that i've been needing to do is print my budget planner sheets and i've been needing to do that for so long so i don't know i might get some of those printed out today and um put into my a5 binders i don't know the thing is like i like to add so much things to my day my days off and it's only two days so if i'm doing a lot of house stuff and chores and cleaning and all of that i pretty much have like one day to do like everything that i want to do small business wise if i can fit them in between doing cleaning and laundry and all of that that i do but the amount of things that i have on my to-do list is it's a lot so 
I'm going to have to probably reconvene all of this on Monday when my nephew's not here. Because I am off on Monday, which thank God for that. So I'll be able to get a lot of work done as well. I'm going to design a few more of these, I think. I'm going to eat my dinner and then I'm just going to get started on my nails. Okay, guys, I finished a few more designs. Honestly, I'm tired and I think I'm just going to be ending the video here after I show you guys these designs. Amazon came just now, but it's after seven like it, it's time for me to relax so we have the cherry design and then i'm doing one specifically for me with my um my brand logo as you guys can see here and then i have some strawberries i think i'm gonna add some daisies to it i think that would be cute yeah and then i have a winter one which is the snowflakes you guys know i have the snowflake rhinestone pen so i'm gonna do this one as well and then i have the little gingerbread men with the little hearts of course i have a grinch grinch with the candy canes i don't know why this isn't focusing and then i have hello kitty these are some of the designs that are in the defrosted glass cans so i want to do the pens that match and then of course grinchy and bougie to match the frosted glass can and I don't know if I'm going to add some more. Maybe I will. But I'm going to work on these, I think, like I was saying. I might print them out tomorrow if I have time, if I'm able to. If not, I'll be working on these on Monday. And you guys will see these in the next video. But those are some of the designs for the pens. This is the sticker paper that I use and that I was waiting for. The Koala um, Inkjet Vinyl Sticker Paper. I alternate between this and the HDB Ron. I like them both and then I will um, actually for this because it is the pens are UV resin I just print them out on this cut them out and then UV resin the top but that's that and then I got one more thing from Amazon it has nothing to do with my business but I'll show you guys anyways when I was training with my trainer I would use the L carnitine um, pills but I absolutely hate taking pills, so I'm going to try out the liquid version. And the pills, you have to take two, three times per day. This one's only one tablespoon in the morning. So that is a lot better because can you imagine taking six pills per day? It was driving me insane to have to take so many pills on top of having to take vitamin D3 plus K2, having to take fish oil pills. Like, it was a lot. So the liquid version, I hope, works just as well because this helps to convert fat to energy helps to improve your exercise capacity and recover faster after intense training this is the blue raspberry they had a fruit punch but they said the fruit punch wasn't good so we're gonna go ahead and try this blues ra blue raspberry and i'll keep you guys updated how this one compares to actually taking the the pills that i was taking so yes so that's gonna be that Okay, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys watch all the way to the end, make sure to leave me a Christmas tree in the comments. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.